Okay, let's talk about interfaces in Go. As I mentioned before, structs in Go have a feature known as embedding. When you embed a struct in a second struct, the second struct assumes all the fields and methods of the first struct. In this case, we have a struct of type duck, and we've an embedded struct animal in it. Animal does not have any fields, but it does have one method declaration. So down our main function, we simply declare a duck variable, and we send it the method, which again was declared under type animal. And if we run this on the right, everything works. <clears throat> so then this is the same as inherited in an object-oriented language, right? Well, no. In true inheritance, we should be able to do something like this. Let's, instead of having my duck be a duck variable, let's have it be an animal. And set this variable, which again is of type animal, equal to a variable of type duck. So animal on the left, duck on the right, and let's see if this works. And it doesn't. The error that we are given is cannot use duck literal type duck as type animal in assignment. So again, we have a variable of type duck on the right, a variable of type animal on the left, and we cannot assign one to the other. That is not allowed in the type system of Go. What Go does have is something called interfaces. An interface is simply a declaration that a type will handle a collection of methods. Notice that interfaces only refer to methods and not fields. So let's make this uh, program more interface friendly. Let's declare our type animal to be an interface. And we'll say that animal can handle the method can eat. Note that the format for an interface method declaration is the name of the method, then the parameters, and the return value. Let's take this method that had previously been declared on the animal struct and instead have it act on the duck struct. Now if we look at our main function again, my duck is a variable of type animal. The type animal is simply any variable which can handle the method can eat. If we look down at our duck struct type, we see that it can handle can eat, so this should work. I do have to change the duck initialization, however. And of course, we're no longer embedding animal into duck. And that works as expected. So interfaces allow for much more flexibility in a type system which would otherwise, in their absence, be very constrictive.